Chelsea Johnson's murder is still a mystery tonight, four days after searchers found her body. Family and friends remain on edge, as do many people in the community. Nine News reporter Janelle Walton live in our Butler Warren newsroom with what police are working on today. Janelle? Quite the store clerk where Chelsea was last seen on Sunday when she stopped in there with a friend. He says detectives actually returned to the store today to ask some more questions. I also had a chance to talk with the last person who possibly saw Chelsea alive when she left her mother's apartment on Sunday, Tim Childs. He says the detectives are continuing to ask him questions as well. Now he tells me that he was one of the people that actually found her body at the creek. He says he was too upset to go in any further details about what he saw. He says he was one of the people to find her at the Heritage Glen Apartments on Brookfield Drive Monday evening. Now the Ameristop clerk says they turned over surveillance video showing Chelsea inside the store with a friend and police say she was there around noon on Sunday. The store clerk says Chelsea was a regular customer who shopped there every day. They put up a sign asking people to make a donation to help with her burial. Chelsea's mother says she can't afford to pay for a funeral so the store is pitching in to help. Now, I did have a chance to make contact with the Fairfield police chief, and he says they are working 24 hours a day trying to solve this mystery, trying to figure out who did this to Chelsea Johnson. Clyde. All right, Janelle. Janelle Walton live in the West in Westchester for us this evening. Former